Hi, my sister. <laughs> Let's go. Fatai te le lava for this uh, opportunity, and I hope uh, our beautiful Aina Samoa are enjoying uh, your beautiful uh, Ngana Samoa uh, celebrating it this week. Ole Bayaso, Ole Ngana Samoa. So, Fatai te le lava, and uh, thank you so much once again. You know, it's such a blessing to to have you come through because you know, being a South Auckland based podcast, it's only right that we have. The one and only mayor of Otahu who <laughs> blessed, blessed mm. us at this time. I guess for me, it's it's an indication that I'm heading the right way to have yeah. someone like you um, come through. So I just want to acknowledge you and and your time and thank you so thank much. You, thank you, my brother. Your fifth title, Lava Sis, and honestly, it's it's an honour for me to be part of your Talanoa, and uh, I do hope uh, this is uh, coming out clear and uh, going out to all the different uh, uh, homes and people that are tuning into this Talanoa. It is uh, an absolute uh, privilege uh, to be part of this and to join everyone else that's watching right now. But where do we start? Oh my goodness! You know, I feel like <laughs> I'm nervous now. I feel like <laughs> well, you know, okay. I want to write off of what we talked about last time and I just want to yeah. say you're pretty much a household name you know your face is everywhere oh, yeah, I know right. you, you host your language program on Wednesdays on PMN 531PI so yeah. make sure if you are listening make sure you guys tune in all your time out there let's go and we watched you host <laughs> Antipa Speaker over a decade now so it feels like it feels like it's over a decade i know that it is over a decade so like i said it's only right that we have you celebrate you and your incredible journey so let's go down the broadcasting um avenue uh there's yeah. a lot to unpack here <laughs> yeah well tell you, lover, once again just um yeah so uh my name is john pulu i'm uh, from the friendly islands kingdom of tonga i also have links uh, to uh, fiji to the lao group uh, right now i reside in uh, little tonga otahuhu let's go and um yeah so basically i've been working for uh, tanata pacifica it's coming up to i think 12 years now i've been very fortunate enough and uh, thank you to the many blessings uh, thank you to my lord and savior for um, giving me the opportunity to be part of a community program like tanata pacifica uh, and we air every Saturday morning, 9.30 on TVNZ1. And also, uh, very honoured uh, to uh, join the PMN, or Pacific Media Network family, uh, every Wednesday for our programme PMN Tonga. But um, where it all began for me was uh, when we moved here to Aotearoa, I didn't really speak uh, uh, English uh, very well and still the same status at the moment, as you can see uh, in here. Uh, but um, uh, what drew me to uh, broadcasting was when I was still at Otahuhu College. And now that is a private school in uh, South Auckland. Uh, well, basically, it wasn't until my last uh, or final year I was interested in um, looking at uh, working in the media industry. And there was a program called Gateway. And, uh, and that's what it literally was. It was a gateway for us to uh, go into uh, the workforce and get our work experience uh, done while we were still in high school. And there was nothing in broadcasting at the time, and uh, which was uh, really quite intriguing uh, because um, yeah, there's so many uh, you know great storytellers. You know, we have a lot of uh, people uh, who I saw at the time could be hosts of uh, radio and TV shows, and and so I just put the question out there to our careers. Uh, team and they were able to um, bring up Television New Zealand and Tanata Pasifika uh, during that time was the only uh, TV program that was uh, by Pasifika people for Pasifika people here in Aotearoa and it's still going like that uh, and now we're 35 years on and it's still going strong so um, that was um, uh, my kind of pathway into broadcasting. I did some work experience at TVNZ and for me um, the attraction was that we needed to uh, tell stories that were coming from Pacifica, because I guess um, during that time when I was still in high school, there was a lot of negative stereotypes. And, you know, we still have a bit of that today. Um, now, this is regarding Pacifica people or criminals and we're doing all these uh, naughty things. And I wanted to be part of something that was also celebrating and to help also preserve our language and culture for our diaspora here in, um, in Aotearoa. So that was for me was like, a little moment where it kind of sparked uh, an interest for me and um, that's where I did it. So I had to study because uh, um, they wanted uh, me to go and get some experience. So um, I got into and did that for three years. And so I, I did kind of like a full circle, uh, started at TVNZ, studied and then came back and there was an opening for a um, freelance reporter. 
at uh, TVNZ at the time and then I, uh, I applied and then from there there was a permanent role. Thank goodness I um, made heaps of cup of teas and uh, you know told some really dry jokes that uh, was able to uh, help me <laughs> but um, in all seriousness um, I'm just really grateful you know I've been able to uh, travel to many uh, Pacific countries you know something that I never would have uh, the opportunity to do. Uh, but also, um, I've been able to meet, network, fellowship, share stories, Dalanoa, and um, yeah, secure a job with the team. And uh, yeah, been very fortunate enough, you know, share um, uh, stories. But also, um, I'm very thankful that people trust us to tell their stories uh, on our Polokalama here at Tanata uh, Pacifica. And uh, another blessing was that I was able to uh, join the uh, PMN team a few years later. Uh, to host our Tongan radio program, PMN Tonga. So every Wednesday, that's my gig on uh, on radio from 3 till 6 p.m. Uh, and um, it's great for me because it helps me uh, stay in touch with my community, but also it helps with strengthening uh, my rea whakatoma. As you know, we come here and uh, we mix and mingle and pick up new uh, habits and different languages and whatnot. But I think for me, that's been a, um, a real helpful um, I guess encouragement uh, to uh, use my language more often. But I never thought, you know, that I'll be using my language in a, a you know, professional, I guess, or, or as part of my career. So uh, it's it's a huge honor for me uh, to be, you know, where I am, but also um, celebrate and keep using my real uh, Pasifika, which is uh, predominantly Tongan. And I've been lucky enough to uh, learn some bits and pieces, uh, some other languages uh, along the way as well. Mm, amazing. It's an absolute honor for me to be part of something like this that's been around for a long time. And I know that it will continue from here. But, um, you know, to join the, the long line of uh, Pacific pioneers in the space of uh, uh, TV uh, here in Aotearoa, it's an incredible uh, privilege to be part of. Um, you know, since the uh, late 80s, when the program started, it was all about community. And that is still the heart uh, and, 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 and I guess the foundation of what makes our program is that we are here to give back to our community through storytelling. And, um, you know, we celebrate, we also acknowledge some of the, uh, the serious issues. You know, I, I think back to the, to the early days, uh, 87, uh, when the program started, you know, we've just overcome the dawn raids. You know, we're going into more migration stories and also celebrate seeing more of our people in uh, different um, uh, sectors in our makeup of what we now call home Aotearoa. So it's great to celebrate our people, but community has always been there. And that for me is still my, um, I guess, uh, what uh, attracts me and, you know, and I sleep better at night when I know that I've been able to uh, help a family out. You know, it's, it's the tricky stories of our people who are in tricky situations, but it's not until we get involved that they are able to get into a warmer home, addressing, you know, such issues. Very difficult one to talk about, but I guess it's what, um, it's the payment for me. It's the fact that we're able to keep our communities informed. You know? It's a privilege as well to also uh, celebrate our Pacific uh, uh, people who are doing so well in the sports uh, uh, we're also part of history as well, you know, I'm looking back now, it's like, wow, I was there in Tonga when Cyclone Gita hit, you know, we're, we're there as history unfolds. And um, I've been uh, very fortunate enough to uh, be in Tonga. Uh, they went from, um, you know, the, the old system to a more democratic uh, system. So we're part of history. And what we're doing is we're coming back and telling those stories uh, to our community. And our community is not just here in Aotearoa. A lot of us are now overseas, you know, we're, we're living in Australia, as far as America, Europe, Asia. There's so many of our people um, who have migrated, continuing that migration story. But this is a small window back into their homes. And they, they watch Tangata Pacifica online because they want to know what's happening uh, here in the uh, Pacifica community here, but also what is happening back home uh, in the islands as well. So overall, it's honestly, it's a huge, huge privilege for me to be part of this family. And um, yeah, and I do also want to acknowledge um, the past uh, pioneers of the program, the current and also going forward. But we wouldn't be here without the community who have been there with us. We've had some very challenging times. You know, there's there's always the challenge of, you know, finding out if we ever get funded again. But, um, you know, I leave that to my bosses uh, in terms of all that stuff. Uh, but also we've had some really tricky time slots. You know, we've been on air uh, early in the morning 
uh, and then late at night on a Thursday, and now we're 9.30 a.m. on um, Saturdays, and then the rerun on Sunday. So we've had those challenges, and um, you know, without the community, we wouldn't be here. And we're here because of our people's loyalty and uh, the support of our community, not just here, but also across the globe as well.